research and discovery. Futurists. Learning a musical instrument, as many a parent can tell you, requires patience. At their home near Athens, Michaelis and Daphne are given a helping hand in their flute lessons by their father, himself an oboist, and a new musical aide, the virtual teacher. It's a specially designed computer program that listens to them, records their efforts, picks up on their mistakes, and assesses their performance. I just open the computer, I load the program and I see the notes. When I make mistakes, the computer tells me I have to play it again. It helps me see the notes. The program allows children to correct their own mistakes. They don't need the continuous presence of parents or teachers to learn. What's more, the program can encourage them. Instead of having to go somewhere to play, the children can study their instruments on the computer. It's almost like a game for them. The children take their computers to school as well as their flutes, allowing the real-life music teacher to evaluate their homework. Using the computer's recording, the teacher can explain where they're going wrong. Of course, the key to improvement is practice, practice and more practice. The computer program stimulates children of all ages. The younger ones see it as a toy and are keen just to play with it. Not necessarily to study their music, but rather to have fun. It also helps kids of all ages manage their time. One problem is that the program doesn't help the children socialize. I don't really know if there's a solution to that. The system is called VEMUS, for Virtual European Music School, and it's coordinated by engineers at a language processing lab just outside of Athens. The primary aim was to develop an interactive, networked and multilingual music tuition tool to complement traditional teaching. The aim of VEMUS is not actually to uh, replace human teacher, but it's to supplement him and uh, to allow the student to study at home and to collaborate more closely with uh, the other students and with his teacher via the use of modern technology. Researchers have developed different interactive interfaces. One priority was to offer students an effective way of objectively evaluating their work. If you have only a limited amount of comments you can provide to a student depending, regarding his performance, which ones do you actually choose to present, in which way, and how do you manage to give feedback to the student without discouraging him? In search of answers, here in Cluj, in Romania, the possibilities and limits of the program are being put to the test. Wafai and Catalina are learning the clarinet, guided by both a virtual and a real-life teacher. The note was too long. The music classes are a mix of e-learning and good old-fashioned face-to-face lessons. Copy, Many errors. 
The software provides a consistent link between what's learnt in the classroom and what's practised at home. Catalin's parents suggested he take up the clarinet three years ago, a challenge he accepted. For some time now I've started the piano as a second instrument, but I prefer the clarinet. My favourite composer is Mozart. I feel calm when I play. When I'm happy I play. I go to my room, read the scores and play. Luckily, the neighbours don't complain. As he practices in his bedroom what he's learned in class, Catalin has a link between himself and his teacher in real time. After the pupil has played, the software evaluates the performance and shows the mistakes. I can make notes on the sheet music, and the pupil instantly receives the notes on his partition at home through the internet. Distance e-learning is taken very seriously by composers at a local music academy in Cluj who adapt different musical scores to the programme. But they're keen to stress that the technology does have its limits. There are some uh, style there, Mozart style, Beethoven style, Brahms style. The computer cannot show this. The computer uh, can show you only if you uh, omit notes, if you breathe uh, wrong. This is technique, is not interpretation. Interpretation of music means something more human than, uh, than machine. The aim is still to be able to have the human to actually control the learning process. The human teacher is able to uh, follow more closely the way the student A uh, studies and B performs. Ah! 